Hello guys, my name is Mixed Reality, and welcome to my second channel where I talk about deeper subjects that I feel like I really should talk about. And for example, today's topic is anxiety. Oh, don't you love it? Don't don't you love anxiety? I don't know why I went Irish there. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, we all deal with it, and if you say you don't then you are a flippin' liar and you need to go confess. Because, um, at least one time in our life, whether you know it or not, you've dealt with anxiety. I've dealt with anxiety. The person over there dealt with anxiety. We've all dealt with anxiety. Doesn't matter if you deny it. As much as you deny it, it's true. And there's nothing you can say that can prove me wrong. Uh, let me give you an example really quick. The other day, it was a Thursday, I had a bowling tournament the next day, and I wasn't going to be at school. So I had to ask my history teacher for some, for the work that I had to do the next day. And I was like, hey, uh, I, he's really strict, all right? He's like really strict. And so, like if you forget your history book, he won't let you go back to get it. His motto is, be here, on time, ready to go. So he won't let you go back and get your book. You have to deal without it, and you have to remember the work that you have to do. Anyways, so I had to, I was really anxious to go up and get my work, and it was no big deal, because he, he's kind of cool, uh, but like, even around other people, I get anxious, especially people I don't know. I'm like... How can I make conversation? Uh. Or, like, around a girl, even. I'm just, like, quiet and uncomfortable in every way, shape, and form. That's probably why I don't have a girlfriend. Uh. Anyways, um, so... I'm trying to make the point that we all have anxiety and that you aren't alone. You are not alone. No matter what, in more ways than one, you are not alone. And you're going to have to accept that and grasp that and just flip and deal with it that you aren't alone in this battle against anxiety. Other people have it. Everyone has it. If you have a family member that's in the hospital, uh, not only are you anxious, your family members are anxious. Sometimes if your friends are close to, your, to that family member, your friends are anxious. I'm getting way off topic here, but you are not alone. That's the pity. When my dad was out hunting, I got really scared, and my stomach would start hurting, and I'm pretty sure I started developing a hole in my stomach that, and it just, there's this little pit in my stomach that just said, oh, oh, he's in an accident. Oh, he's, he's not good. Something's not right. That's not good. And you need to figure out what you need to do to deal with it, be it talk to someone, Talk to Jesus, or just pray. It doesn't matter. You. So, um, my audio stopped because I forgot to empty my recycle bin. What I'm trying to say, it doesn't matter. You need to deal with it, because if you don't, then it's going to linger. It's going to build. It's going to make things so much worse for you in so many ways that you can't even imagine. It's going to make your social life worse. It's gonna make your family life worse. It's gonna make everything so much harder for you in so many different ways. And you just need to get up and figure out a way to deal with it. Cause if you don't, then I lost my train of thought. Crap, if you don't deal with it, then you need to, it's going to linger. It's going to sit there. It's going to burn. It's like a fire. If it keeps burning, it's going to keep taking in that wood. It's going to keep just eating it and eating it and eating it and taking it in and taking it in. And then all of a sudden, it's this big freaking fire that's burning away at your insides. Who, that doesn't just, that doesn't stop burning. It, it just doesn't stop. It's going to encapsulate you and you're going to feel so trapped and so lost that you are scared, that you're alone. You're not alone. You need to deal with that, that you're not alone. You need to learn that you're not alone. As much as you say, oh, I'm so alone. I'm so alone. I'm so sad. I'm so depressed. I'm so alone. And I've spit all over my desk. Great. You're not alone. You need to deal with that. 
That's something you need to learn, that you're not alone. Someone will always be there for you. It doesn't matter if it's a friend. I don't freaking care if you don't have friends. Talk to Jesus about it, all right? Talk to him, because he is truly the one that can help you through this. He is truly the one who can help you through this dark time of your life and help you through that anxiety and help you deal with it in every way, every shape, and every form. It's, I don't know what else to tell you guys. You need to learn that you're not alone and that you can talk to someone about it. Talk to a friend. And if you don't want to talk to a friend, talk to a family member. If you don't want to talk to a family member, talk to a counselor. If you don't want to talk to a counselor, counselor talk to Jesus. I don't know what else to t- tell you. That is really important for you to do. You need to talk with someone to help you through it. And sometimes it just helps take those burdens off of your chest. It helps you so much. You have no clue. And something I did once was I recorded myself in a self-therapy session. Don't do that. You're just unloading your burdens onto you. How does that help? That doesn't help. So don't do what I did. Don't record yourself in a self-therapy session and say, Oh, yeah, this is self-therapy number one. Uh, I'm sad. Don't do that. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help you through this hard time that that you need help through. It's going to just make things worse. It's going to build the burdens. And you need to pray about it and then talk with someone. Those are the most important things you can do. I'm. You need to leave it. You really do. You need to set it down and just leave it. That's it. I'm sorry that this was a this was a really long rant. I was expecting this to be like three minutes. No, it turned into a flippin' ten minute rant. Oh my gosh. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could subscribe, that'd be great, but I'm not gonna beg for subs. It's weird how I transitioned from like really passionate, you're not alone, to please subscribe. Uh, I'm sorry for letting this run on for about 11 minutes, uh, but you guys stay blessed, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I have a really hard-hitting topic that I think will help a lot of people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!